Hello everybody, Trumpet Master here, and welcome to League of Legends at Orlando Card Center. And it's been a while for me. It's been probably, I believe, two years since I've been out here. And it's been a, quite a while since I've recorded a video, so... Hello guys, welcome back. Sorry it's been a long time, but I've actually not been on gaming or anything crazy too much of it. So, things have changed quite a bit since I've last been here, so I'm just going to go over a couple things, just to kind of go over the basis of what's happened, because as you can see, these are not the same rental carts that we used to drive back when I was in the league back two years ago. So, main difference here is we got, so this was what the general landscape of what we had previous time we were last year. We had the speedy carts, and we had the regular rental carts. So, essentially, the regular rental carts were the old fleet. They basically just used that Honda GX2 270 engine. It was a pretty heavy chassis, but it was a pretty fast machine considering what it was. Like, the top speed was pretty good. The cornering was, was pretty good, but it felt like a heavy cart to drive. It didn't feel like it had a very light back end or anything. It just felt like it was heavy. Versus the speedy cart, on the other hand, it was just... It's a race car. It's like it's a dedicated to this um, this style of racing. Well, it's super light. It weighs 100 pounds, like like a couple, maybe like 200 pounds with you in it. By like depending on what your driver weight is, things like that. 400, 500 pounds, whatever, with the driver in it versus the 500 pound rental car just by itself. So you obviously see the speed difference is just so much, and it's using a 390 cc engine versus the 270 that the uh, regular rental is. So that's the basics with it. So obviously with the lap times of the speedy car, you would get like a 57.6 ball versus the rental car. As you can see, it's still going down the front, the home stretch just to get its lap time. And it comes out to be around a minute, five second lap time when it would, maybe five minutes, six when it would do it lap times. And that's pretty quick lap times for that rental car. So now it's, we changed it up a little bit. Now we are driving cars with the new fleet and the whole entire league um, layout is a little different. So nowadays, you have the rental carts, which is the new, new fleet. They're still using that 270 engine that they were um, assigned to, but the cart is different. So as you can see, the rentals that they have now are a little slower. However, they feel light and nimble. I think the corner speed is a little bit down. I think that's just the result of the chassis. It feels quicker, but you can't really, you honestly don't notice the speed difference on the, in terms of nimbleness or straight line speed. I don't, I don't know if it's just because of the way the cart's here, or if it's just, or if it's just anything else. But you have the, on the other side, you have the pro cart. So on the pro cart, it's basically the exact same cart as the rental cart. The only difference is, is they're using the speedy engine that you find in the, um, in, out in the speedy class. So it's that Honda GX390, which is that 390cc engine. It's producing the same power. So, as a result, with that the chassis that you have on the rental car, you're actually going about a second quicker than you would be if you were driving the, um, the regular rental from back in the day. So, it's ba so basically, the pro car is just about is basically like driving the old rentals, just different driving styles, like you know, different styles versus the uh, old rental. But it's a lot of fun. So I I would say it's um for the better. Um, you don't have those speedy race cars driving in the same class. So this is the race start right here. This is for the first race. So we get a pretty good start off the gate. We make a couple moves here and there, but my cart was um, pretty underpowered versus everybody else. You'll see later in the video, like I would actually get behind somebody in the draft and then they would then they would still slightly pull away from me. So I just had to deal with that for the race, but the cart felt great. It was pretty nimble. It had good cornering ability. I was able to keep up in the corners, maybe be a little quicker. But, yeah, generally, how the format of this new um, league, well, it's the same league, but it, how they format it differently this time is the Speedies do not race in the regular league anymore. They release in a separate league now or called the, Pro, the League of Legends Pro League. So it's um, essentially a separate league dedicated for the race cards. So you don't have race cards getting torn up by regular rentals anymore. You just have... The speedy carts racing with other speedies, and you also have like Tillotson engines, you also have little group sixes racing with them, and you also have them split up by late, by the weight. Obviously before, when we ha had weight classes back in the day, it was, the light class would be under 185 pounds, and the 
heavy class was above 185 pounds. So, or 8,500, or 185 pounds and above, is what I should say. However, it's changed up a little bit, because back in the day there was no real scrutineering to that. There was, it was kind of just a, you know, a set number, we kind of just agreed upon it, and it was just like, it was all kind of gentleman's agreement to it. Now they have um, actual weight blocks that they can put into these new carts, so you can homologate everybody to that exact weight. So, nowadays, the... The light class is, if I'm not mistaken, at the 185 pounds like back in the day, they have to be up to that weight. And now the heavy class has to have a 210 pound minimum weight limit they have to hit. You could be over the weight minimum weight limit, but you just have to be at like either at the minimum weight limit or higher. So you could in theory race as a heavy person, like you know, 210 pounds, but still race in the light class. But I just opt to go into the heavy class because I weigh close to 200 and just put like maybe one block in maybe I actually haven't had to lately because I weigh close to 215 so I don't have to do anything but I digress <laughs> it makes things pretty good because you do get actual homologations everything in terms of weight is pretty much fair game at this point everything's leveled out you don't have people to be like Oh, maybe being dishonest about their weight or anything like that. You because at the end of the races, after if you are in the top five, you get sent to um to the um the weight bear, the weight blocks. You get a uh, you get scrutinized to see um if you've made weight, and if you made weight, you you qualify and you get your spot. So like if you get top five, you've got to go to it. So that's just that's just the initial because you never know because somebody could win the race, but they end up being underweight and they get disqualified. Happens more often than you think. Because people slightly miscalculate things, but that's why you always got to make sure. But it's a lot of fun, as you can see right here. As a result, even though I'm in the heavy class, everybody in front of me is actually in light. I'm still able to keep up relatively well. You can see right there, I'm kind of signing, hey, I'm a heavy class. I need. To, I wonder if he knows that. But it's still a lot of fun. Um, I'm actually... It's been fun, good to be back. It just feels good to just get behind the carts, just driving the race. Because it's been a few years since I've back into it like this and just in the terms of like serious racing it's been a bit just because everything's been so expensive but yeah i hope you guys do enjoy this i'm gonna let the rest of the video play out we're gonna gonna be enjoyable i hope you guys enjoy this this is the first race back and um i'll let everything play out and i'll see you guys later don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and i hope you guys have a good
Alrighty, now that I'm back, the race is just finished up, and as a result, we ended up winning the race by a decent margin. It was actually kind of lovely. Got to see a little bit of battling, got to get a little bit of a uh, be a little bit of fighting ourselves. It was a lot of fun. It was a pretty enjoyable race. It was just nothing too crazy. Just lacking straight lines to be the little few points here and there, as you would notice. But yeah, overall, not too bad. Race was pretty straightforward, but yeah, I was pretty happy with it overall. Yeah, and the next race we had was actually kind of a lot of fun. I got to do my best uh, Master Step impression that I could possibly incarnate. So, <laughs> for you guys are going to go ahead and enjoy that here in a little bit. It was a lot of fun. Get to have the overall lead in a heavy cart class and just have a fun with it and enjoy it. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this one, and I'll see you guys in a little bit.
goes our way. Let's go. I guess I've got to feel like what Max Verstappen feels for a bit. 